Hello there. Welcome to the coding club. Today's class objective is we'll learn how we can use the knowledge of shapes to create a simple object like a car in Python Turtle. So let's zoom in. Let's draw a simple car using basic shapes using Python Turtle. Before you start, the three things that you should keep into your mind is that while drawing the car, what shapes do we need? And how do we draw the shapes? And thirdly, how do we ask Python or instruct Python to draw these shapes on the turtle screen? So the objective of this class is that we'll be able to identify some codes to perform a specific task. We'll be able to modify the codes that suits our needs. For example, we can change the colors we need, we can change the size of the car, etc. And we'll be also be able to show how pieces of the code can be combined to make a simple object like a car. So let's start. First of all, you will open your Python IDA program and then you will open a new file and name it as car.py. So I've opened the Python IDA program and I've saved my file with a particular name for example, car.py, and then I will write the basic codes to import the turtle, and I will set a specific color mode and from the RGB codes. Before proceeding further, we must keep into our mind that we are drawing this car with the help of simple shapes like rectangle, square, and circle. While drawing the rectangle and the square, we'll use some concepts like iteration, example here turtle.forward and turtle.left is repeated four times. So instead of that, we'll use iteration, which we will cover with the help of the for loop. Nextly, in the for loop, this number within the range implies the number of times this particular uh, set of code will be repeated. Second thing, will also remember the process of sequencing. Sequencing is the process that while putting a particular color within a shape, we have to follow the sequence like we have to ask the turtle to move to a particular position first and then we'll start with a begin fill option and then draw the particular shape or write the code for the particular shape and then it should end with the end fill color option. The example of the code is given here like turtle.begin fill and then turtle fill color red and then we are writing this particular set of code where we draw the shape here it is an example of a square and finally we end this particular code with the help of turtle.end fill we should keep into our mind the particular turtle screen and we'll imagine it in the form of the graph uh, we'll divide into four quadrants and we'll start from the home position, which is 0, 0. So we are drawing the rectangle at starting from the 0, 0 position. And you can imagine if the size of the uh, rectangle, the longer side is 200 pixels, then this position will be 200, 0. And similarly, we have to imagine the other coordinate points as well. We have to ask the turtle to move the pen up and go to this particular position where we want to draw the square. So this one will be 150, 100. Similarly, the, in this example, the rectangle size is bigger than the square and hence it is chosen as 50 pixels each side. We have to again lift the turtle up and you have to come back down, for example, this position to start drawing the circle. So here it will be the circle and you can imagine this position will be positive x axis will be 50 and negative uh, 30 will be the y, quad, y ordinate. Similarly, this position will be the another wheel. And then we have, we can imagine this coordinate to be 150 minus 30. This is very important picture students in order to ask the turtle to move to a particular position and draw a particular shape. So let's now practically do it. So within our window of Python turtle, let's start with the rectangle from the home position. Let me write the command first. So it's drawing a blue rectangle and then Follow the sequencing and I will start with the begin fill option and I'm writing the turtle dot begin fill and I want to draw a blue rectangle so I'm just fill color option I will use the string of blue and then start with the for loop and we'll use a range of two here because we are trying to draw a rectangle so here we go 
to dry, draw the particular shape of the rectangle. After this, you can end the particular loop and we can write turtle dot and fill. We can verify our code by clicking the run option or else we can continue writing our code. Next, I have to draw my square of the car and I can start with the comment of drawing the yellow square. But here, importantly, we have to remember that we have to move the turtle up and I have to go to a particular position. Remember the refer to the graph before that is 150, 100 and I have to keep the turtle down. Then I can continue writing out my turtle.begin fill. I can use my codes which is written on the for the rectangle and I will just copy and I can paste it here and later on I can modify. For example, I first of all want my you know, square to be yellow color so I can change it to yellow. Secondly, since it is a square so it will the range will be 4 and the size of the square will be smaller so let me choose that as 75 and here it will be only two lines. We can verify our code by clicking the run option or else we can continue writing with the code for the circles. For drawing the wheels, let me start with the commands of drawing the first wheel and I have to move the turtle up and I have to go to a particular position that is 50 minus 30 and I can now keep my turtle down. Afterwards, I can copy the entire code for the um, begin fill option and I can modify it to black color. Next, the important thing is that we need to write the code for drawing the circle which is turtle.circle and within bracket it uh, defines the with the diameter of the circle. Let me choose as 25. We will end the code with turtle.endfill option. Similarly, I can write the entire code for the second wheel which will be like this but importantly I can move the coordinate to 50, 150, minus 30. We can now, this is the end of the entire code for the uh, drawing the car. We can modify the code with the colors, with the size, etc. We can check our codes using the run option. So, you will click the run or F5 and check the output of your code. Many of you have done the codes correctly and have been successful in drawing the car. But for those who have not, they can debug the codes and they can rewind my video and have a look. Just be a detective and look for the clues to work on. So here we come to an end of today's class. I hope that you have understood how we can apply the knowledge of shapes to create beautiful objects and as simple as like a car. Don't forget to share your experiences through the comments. Thank you and have a nice day.